Hi, everybody. Hub Arkish and Kevin Fishbane here for ProFootballWeekly.com. The new Chicago Bears fans hoped for most a new inside linebacker. Can he carry the tradition of a Dick Butkus, a Bill George, a Mike Singletary, a Brian Urlacher? Who knows? But Danny Trevathan was the best inside linebacker available in free agency. The Bears have filled one of their two biggest needs. Yeah, maybe the best one available in a couple of years. And you mentioned the great Bears linebackers. They just need to be better than Shane McClellan, Christian Jones, John Timu and Jonathan Anderson shouldn't be very difficult for Tanny Trevathan, who's been a great player for the Denver Broncos. He turns 26 in a couple weeks, a tackle machine, can move sideline to sideline, and he immediately fills a big need for the Bears. The thing that's really intriguing to me about this, Kevin, I've been told by a pretty good source, the Broncos got blindsided. If they had thought they were going to lose Brock Osweiler, they were prepared to offer more to Danny Trevathan. They didn't get the chance to do it, and they end up losing both. Yeah, they lose him. They lose them. They also lose Malik Jackson. And of course, here is where the John Fox uh, comes in, and the John Fox factor. Dan Trevathan said at the Super Bowl that he'd love to, you know, he loved being with John Fox, could be with him again, and certainly that probably helped Dan Trevathan want to come to Chicago. Folks, you can't win a lot of games in the offseason or in free agency, but the Bears did what everybody wanted them to do. Danny Trevathan, the new Chicago Bear. For all the latest news throughout the NFL on the Chicago Bears, stay right where you're at 24-7 at ProFootballWeekly.com.